Wow. I had a very surprising conversation today. Uh, man, my, my, I was bubbling up with things to say, encouraging things. You know, crack, crack, crack. I'm not mad at that this happened. And I'm not like, mad at the person who did it because I know they did it out of a care a sense of caring it's really just a misunderstanding so I was anonymously reported to social services because of this YouTube channel someone was so concerned about my demeanor my they said that I seemed manic my my ups and downs they thought that I was not taking care of my children well. They accused me of showing my nether regions in the, the vlog of Stellan's delivery, which isn't true. I had a C-section. No, no public, no. No non-public areas were visible. There's, there's good things. Like, to, to really hear the lady saying, like, well, do you have, do you need anything? Do you need help? Just hearing that feels good. And it's so good to know that help is out there. And so I think it'd be really easy in this situation to feel, like, super defensive, super scared, super a angry, you know, just a lot. It's, it's, a, it's a very strange thing to have happen. But I just explained, like, I don't show my kids tantrums and hard times. I don't show everything. Oh, lordy, I don't. I, very, I show very little, really, because I purposefully want to save the happiest memories, the most beautiful things, and I want them to be something that they can look back on and treasure. And they already do. They already love to look back on old memories. Yes, I'm open about my struggles, but I'm not hopeless, and I never have been completely hopeless. And even when I have shared, you know, <laughs> the crying, the, the moments of just being down, that's not where I leave it. I don't leave it at, I despair of my life, because I don't. Everybody's got ups and downs, but... I think it's also a big cultural thing is that Americans as as a country you know to generalize are just much more open about their feelings than Swedes are Swedes Scandinavian culture is just suck it up hold it down and don't think anybody cares Jantelagen it's a whole thing and I wanted to make videos where I could feel free to be honest when I'm struggling. Put that out there and help other people not feel so alone with their struggles. And when I got really overwhelmed and really sad, I asked for help. And my friend Angela came through and she, she helped, she's been amazing and you know, and her husband's been taking the kids to school while it's been super super cold and slippery and she's taken all of the kids for babysitting some more tonight I could have some alone time and been there and yeah that's that's something that I've been trying to say for the longest time is just you know, Believe that there is help. Believe that you're not alone. And so when the lady said, asked me, like, do you need anything? I was like, I'm, I'm really doing much better now. Now that Stellan is able to go to daycare a few hours in the week. I can get my work done and I can, I can pursue other things. I can, well, I didn't get into all the detail, but 
I was saying that that fact in itself, and that the girls are going to be able to go back to their after-school club. And I did say how I was really not happy with how they, the whole system was with... I had a difficult delivery, traumatic C-section, couldn't pee, newborn, and I still had to get walk my, my kids to school and pick them up. I had to pick them up early and they couldn't stay after school care because there's a technically a parent at home. But it's over. It's past. I survived and I'm proud of myself for how strong that I've been. I'm proud of being able to upload videos in the midst of so much and still finding this thing that helps me connect to me being a person. And yeah, Morta and I aren't perfect, but our kids know, they know they're loved and they are such confident people. They say how they feel. They don't they don't take any guff, as we say in America. Like, they stand up for themselves. They've always been fully realized, brave, amazing kids. So, they're okay. I'm okay. Yeah, I show highs and lows. I'm also, I also was an actor. Um, and I connect to emotion in a different way. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, if I see someone else showing real emotion, like, it doesn't have to be crying, but just real emotion, I just, like, I connect to them more. And so I think that's part of why I share my emotion is because I know that that's going to re resonate with someone else. Like, we're not alone in this. It's okay to say it's hard. And it's okay to get anonymously reported to the system that is there to help you. They did their job. They did it well. We had we talked we had a really good conversation. Most of it in Swedish, I might add. Quite proud of myself. Um oh. I mean, I don't know how proud of myself I should be. I'm sure I still sound like a toddler talking. Probably missing important sentence structures, but she understood me. And the second half was in English when she said sentences that I was just like, Wait a bit. So, this is not how a normal video is. Usually I put a bit more effort in and I put some, splice it up with some cute memories or photography or whatnot, but I haven't been doing a whole lot of stuff. I've been just going and going and it's finally the weekend. So Morton and I do our weekend thing where we take turns being with kids and napping. I don't know how people have social lives. I'm really glad that this channel exists, that YouTube exists, that I have a way to connect. And maybe sometimes people might misunderstand me or think I'm not doing a good job, but I know I'm doing my best. And I know if I am feeling myself being literally stretched to death, I, can, I know who to talk to, I know how to get help. I can talk to, I can ask friends for help, I can go back to social services and take advantage of how they have advice givers, um, I can explain the li my limits and I don't ever have to feel trapped and that's good. So, if you're the person who reported me, thank you for caring. I hope that this has helped you to feel a little bit better about my kids. And I really, I really, tr trust me, 
if they don't want something online, they will tell me, and I will I will not put it up. Like, there's been times when the kids said, oh, I don't want that part online. And I said, okay. And if at some point they say, that's embarrassing, I don't want that up, I will make it private. It's, it's definitely their right, and yeah. So... I hope that helps anybody who's worried about this. this I am, we're not a family vlog. Then my kids, I'm not making any money from this and I never would, if I were to make money, it would never be based on my kids performing. Like, that would, that's, that's, that's a whole thing I would never do. It's, this is my channel. I'm the face of it for better or worse. And it's my struggles, it's my journey of growth and self-discovery and connection and hope. And I made this channel to be the friend that I want to have. And I stand by that. And for those of you who are here because you... You enjoy spending this time with me and you like the vlogs and you like hanging out and you like the weird stuff that comes out of my mouth sometimes and you like the artsy fartsy stuff thank you I'm excited for life I'm gonna get back into podcasting I'm gonna, I'm gonna be uploading to that I have ideas I have I have so many ideas that I need to just like okay where am I gonna focus I painted my nails black and this is how much it's chipped off within like I don't know less than a week dollar store nail polish